gonna be this video is gonna be about us curing our bacon from our hogs we had killed here a couple weeks ago. Um, I'll leave some links in the description of some of the stuff we used. If you uh, want to know the recipe, just uh, comment, shoot me a message or something, and we'll get that to you. All right, we're here this morning. We're smoking bacon. And give you a glimpse at it here. Oh, yeah. That's going to be some good stuff right there. So it's cured for a week, and I'll let Josh tell the process on that. It's a combination of salt, sugar, and prog powder, powder number one, curing salt. We uh, put it in the specific weight, weight ratio, uh, salt, sugar, to and prog powder to weight of meat and uh, vacuum sealed it, refrigerated it for a whole week. And now it's gonna smoke for six hours. And once it smokes for six hours, then it has to... Uh, have to wrap it in uh, clean wrap, put it back in the refrigerator for three days so the smoke can penetrate. And then we'll put it, freeze it, until it's solid enough to freeze or to slice and we'll slice it and be eating bacon sandwiches. Sounds delicious. All right, this apparatus on here is called a- What? A smoke high cold smoke generator. And it has apple pellets, I believe is what they are. Yep. Apple wood pellets. And this thing is absolutely pumping the smoke out. It is amazing. We'll get some pictures when we're done attached to the end of it. Okay, this is the smoke eye. It's a cold smoker that we use to smoke the bacon with. This is just a few pictures of the process and the after. And just for the record, it tasted great.